Hello, lab Pokemon trainers, Professor Chaz here, the Lab Coat's on back order, and welcome back to our Pokemon Moon playthrough, episode number 46, coming up on just about 9.30pm here in the Alola region. In the last episode, last Friday, we did some exploration here on Pony Island, and we met up with, I think she's a captain, Trial Captain uh, Hapu with the Mudsdale, and she registered the final Pokemon to our ride pager, which we'll take a look at right here, the Machiap Shove. So essentially, I now have strength in the game. I can go back and push some boulders out of the way if I want to do some exploration. Still not sure if I want to do that just yet, or if I want to do more exploration here on Pony Island, because technically, I think I can access where the Tapus are. Tapu Finny, Tapu Bulu, well, Finny not yet, but Tapu Lele and Tapu Bulu. I could encounter them, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Maybe later on this week I'll check that out, but there's a few lesser legendary encounters I could probably get into with some uh, Machamp Shove. And what else we did was, we then went back under the recommendation of Ice King 688 to the Mali Garden, and apparently some folks here in the Alola region wanted to recreate the Nugget Bridge from back in Kanto, right up to the point that the last guy asked me to join Team Rocket. And that was a nice little throwback, kind of a weird situation, but I liked it, it was pretty cool. And I guess that was what we did for the episode. What I want to do for this episode, since here on Pony Island, the current team, as I'll show you right here, is pretty much on par with the wild Pokemon and the trainers. I'd like to get a little bit more training done, but instead of doing a grinding montage, I went and checked out some of the previous regions that we've been to, previous areas. Remember how there were some people that would say, if you beat all the trainers on this route, I'll battle you, and you can get an item, and I'll use my Z-Power and stuff like that. I realized I've been forgetting to go back and deal with those trainers, but off-camera, I went and checked things out and made a list of everyone that I can battle. I've got a list right here under the uh, webcam, and I'm going to go back and do some training against them. This is also going to be a good opportunity to use a couple of the new... Uh, if I have the right Pokemon to learn the moves, some other Z moves that we haven't used yet. I have the Buginium Z and the Psychium Z. I can show off what those attacks look like as well. So that's what this is going to be focused on this episode. If we get done all that in time, then I'll come back to Pony Island and continue the story. Because I want to see what all's happening here. Now, we know Nebby has changed forms. And we're getting to the point we can call the Legendary Pokemon. I just want to see how things play out. But anyway, let's do a team recap and see who we are working with right now. We've got Prowl, the Midnight Form Lycanroc at level 44. She is a quiet Pokemon, boosting special attack, dropping speed, keen eye ability, preventing the loss of accuracy, Expert Belt adding more power to super effective moves when she uses them, and Rock Slide, Crunch, Counter, and Stealth Rock is the moveset. Next is Pandora, our level 44 Pancham. She is a calm Pokemon. Mold Breaker, preventing the opponent's ability from affecting her damage output. Muscle Band adding, I think, 20% power, no, 10% power to each of her physical type attacks, which is all that she has, except for Entrainment, of course. Vital Throw, Body Slam, Crunch, and Entrainment. Next, we've got Igaloo, the level 44 Alolan Sandshrew. He, er, sorry, she is a timid Pokemon, boosting speed, dropping attack, and Snow Cloak ability, boosting evasiveness in a hailstorm. Evia like to add more to the defenses. You'll see that I've been training her, super training her for special defense. She's almost maxed out on that, probably. Maybe not quite, but attack is definitely maxed out. And with the Evia Light boost, she'll be getting another 30 special defense, so 91, and almost 50 for physical defense, so about 150 physical, not too bad. And moveset is Iron Head, Leech Life, Swords Dance, and Hail. And last but not least, the Interim Team Captain, since we did, two episodes back, lose our starter Pokemon, is Ikona the Palosand. He is a serious Pokemon, he takes his job seriously as the current team leader. And Water Compaction is the ability, sharply boosting defense if he gets hit by a Water-type move. Ghost DMZ is the held item for the never-ending Nightmare possibility. And the moveset is Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, and Shore Up. And he's at level 45, the rest are all level 44. So, my first order of business, I see you have to go back to Akala Island. And this is somebody that I spoke to some time ago, and I completely forgot he wanted me to come back and battle him once I beat all the other trainers. So, let's go to Akala, and he is right here by Brooklet Hill. There's a few basic trainers I can deal with in Brooklet Hill as well. So, since I want to show off the Z moves, I think the first one to get their chance is going to be Igaloo. Because we have Leech Life, and I have the Buginium Z, so for this temporary battle, I'm going to take away the Eviolite from her and give her the Buginium Z. Let's do this. I'll give you that Eviolite back pretty soon, Igaloo. You're a more defensive Pokemon than anything. But, let's see what this trainer down here, one of the, he's like a, a trial guide. Let's see what he has to offer in battle. Where are you at? So you're able to beat everybody on Route 5 at least, huh? Then I'll give you a trial of my own. Think you're ready to take on my little trial? I've got a Z-Ring myself, as you can see here. Um, just one sec, I want to put Igaloo to the front, actually. That would be a pretty smart move to do, too. So we'll do that, and then we'll go for the battle. 
So I wonder if we can have anything that we can use super effective Z-move against. Alright, let's do this trial. I'd be happy to. I'd heard that the latest batch of trial goers are a feisty lot. I've been looking forward to this. This old trial guy's little trial is about to start. He's been looking forward to it for like probably about 20 episodes now because I completely forgot to come back and talk to this man. Alright. Trial guide, Bronson, one Pokemon. Alright. What's it gonna be? A Slowpoke. That is weak to bug. I feel slightly bad about doing this, but I want to see what the attack looks like. So let's fire up the Z power. Level 22. This is really going to be overkill. But we got to see what it looks like at one point, right? The Savage spin out. The user binds the target with full force with threads of silk that the user spits using a Z power. It's going to be 160 physical power. That is going to be pretty savage. But let's let's just see what this looks like. What does the Buginium Z move look like, too? Almost like a Praying Mantis type move there. Alright, the Savage spin out. Sorry, uh, Slowpoke. Wrong place, wrong time. Okay. That seems reminiscent of Spider Man. I kind of like that. Just web them up and slam them into the ground. Okay. Congratulations, you cleared a little trial. Well then. Pretty cool. What do we get for that? That's the end of my little trial. Whew, you've got some solid skills, kid. Yep, I've got to congratulate you on this little win. Not little win. Win. Here's a record for clearing my little trial. A TM. Cool, I didn't know you can get TMs from these guys. Nature power. Seeing you young kids giving your, your all like that, you all shine as bright as the sun over Alola. This may just be a volunteer position, but I'm sure glad I decided to be a trial guide. So, there are a few other basic trainers I can deal with in Brooklet Hill. I want to go t uh, deal with them as well. Every little bit of experience is going to help us. Alright, let's rock it on good old Tauros. I almost said Bullwinkle, but technically Bullwinkle is not here yet in the Alola region. He's going to be here at some point. Now, I believe there are two fishermen I haven't fought yet here. Bear with me as I run through some random encounters, I'm sure. Oh, maybe not. Have we dealt with the one on the pier? I don't think we have. We have not. Fishing is a path. It's a battle to win against oneself in addition to the Pokemon. Let's battle. And where's the next one at? He's further down across the water, I believe. So the first fisherman is up. Fisherman Herbert. With a single Pokemon. Be weak to rock. You're not weak to rock. However... I think we're probably going to outspeed with Crowl. I've got her almost maxed out in speed in the Festival Plaza. That's, yeah, level 17. You know what? I'm not even going to go for the Rock Slide. Crowl seems curious about my fashion. Do you like the color purple as well, or Prowl? It is an amazing color. I don't have it on in real life myself, but it is my favorite color. I should get one of these purple shirts, like the Hawaiian-style shirts for this playthrough. Even if I can win against myself, it looks like I've, got a, I've lost to you. Alright, one more fisherman here to deal with. A little bit of extra cash doesn't hurt either. I can't wait for the exclamation to appear, no matter how much fuss the Pokemon puts up. And I had mentioned this before, about what do I do with the items that we got from the demo. And I think what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to go back and watch the demo playthrough and just see what items did I get. Like how many Stardust, how many uh, Comet Shards and stuff. And what I'll probably do is just hand those... Oh, a Feebass! That's pretty cool. I'll probably just hand those items off to Pokemon that are in my Pokepelago. Oh, I want to show that off too. I've developed some of the islands on the Pelago so I can get better beans and more uh, berries, more places to plant berries there. And I've actually uh, developed the next isle, Isle of Fun, I think it is, where I can start getting items when I send Pokemon on missions and adventures in there. So I'll check that out in a little bit once we get past this encounter. But I was saying I'll check out the demo see what items that I got from the demo and just store those on Pokemon that I've gotten from the Pelago just so I don't dip into extra cash that I should not normally have in this playthrough. Of course, that being said, I currently have Ash Greninja sitting in the PC now as well, but I'm not even going to use it, so, you know, that's not really a big issue. So, where is this last fisherman? And then next, there's a couple of trainers I keep forgetting about on, what is it, Route 8, I think it is, called Straight Street? I'm not sure. But there should be a fisherman here, I think. There he is. And a bubble spot there, too, we can fish up. When the fishing line has been cast, a sucker may come along wanting to battle. Er, a trainer will be hooked. Yeah, you might want to rethink what you just said there, buddy. Sucker? 
I don't think so. Level 44 Lycanroc coming your way. Carl. Yeah, two Pokemon. All right. Oh, there's a sucker. All right. So we got a Magikarp. I kind of want to counter it, see what it can do. But that's going to be just a waste of time. It's going to hit me for like one for a tackle. Let's just get this out of the way. Crunch time. One last Pokemon. Show me another Magikarp. Actually, show me a Feebas. Have the other Magikarp type with you. Oh, whatever. All right. Well, we know a Crunch will work. Although this one is one level higher. And sadly, it is to admit Magikarp has kind of okay defenses. Critical hit, doesn't matter. But I think, what is it? Speed and defense are actually not... Well, speed's not too bad on Magikarp. Defense is not amazing, but I think it's one of its uh, next better stats. Maybe I myself became the sucker? Maybe. Just maybe. What do you have to say for yourself? Having a fishing rod is fun because it allows you to meet both Pokemon and trainers. So let's see if we can find another Feebas out of here. Or a special item. Or none of the above. I'm going to keep trying because I want to get something out of here. Let's move a little bit closer. Come on! Why is the fishing like this? I was to say, this is being reminiscent of Gen 3 fishing. I hated that. You have to hit the A button like six times using the Super Rod. And for all of our troubles, we find Magikarp. Did I knock out that Feebas? I'm trying to think. It's not even worth the experience. I, if I did, I apologize, Feebas. I did not mean for that knockout. I'm just going on instinct right now. Well, that is it for Brooklet Hill. Let's now fly off to... Where's the next place? So, Route 8. I'm just going to go here to Royal Avenue. And my phone has decided to take a nap. But let's see what else. Yeah, so there's two trainers on... That's well, not Route 8, is it? There's two trainers on Straight Street, basically. And then Route... Eight, I think. Is it still on here? Yeah, it's here on Akala. Anyway, let's go. There is somebody in white down here, I think. There she is. I've come down here a few times off camera, and every time she attacks me, I think, I gotta remember to battle her to get her out of the way. I think you need to train your Pokemon. Do ya? What is your level? My level's 44. Let's see what you have to offer. Beauty Brittany with one Pokemon. Gonna be level 23, maybe? Cubone. Of course, that is good against my rock type, but is it really good against my rock type? The level difference, of course. Level 17. I was six levels off. I gave you too much credit. Crunch. Now, Cubone has okay defense, so will it survive the crunch? Didn't think so. Alright, one more trainer down. Tiny bit of experience points. How wonderful. You don't seem like you're very happy about that. Give us an item. Come on. I know you won't, but come on. You should speak up in advance when you, there's nothing you... You should speak up in advance when there's nothing a beauty could teach you. Nah, I like this, uh, the thrill of the surprise. Alola, Alola, welcome trainer. And we just jump right into battle. There's an item here, too, I haven't picked up yet. I don't remember what that is. So I did get it off camera, but I didn't, re or didn't save, of course, didn't record. Dancer, was it Micah? Sends an Oricorio. That thing's weak to both rock and dark, so I can just go ahead and crunch that as well. I suppose while we're here, I could do another Poke Finder thing. There is a photo spot in the little gardeny area outside the Royal Battle or the Battle the Battle Royal Dome is what it's called. I could get another photo there, which I haven't gotten last time. Just to feel like I've sort of picked up a lot of loose ends, I might go and do that. Hula hula! I like your Pokeball earrings. Those are pretty cool looking. So I want to grab this item. A lot of people come by holding eggs, so cheer them on with dance. Let's see what we have hidden behind here, Tauros. Let's pick ourselves up. Rare candy. Okay, I can sell that for some cash. All right, let's see what this Poke Finder spot has to offer here in the Battle Royal Garden area. Hop right off here, and it's right here towards the front. Which Pokemon is in the area? I'm expecting Oracorio, but you never know. It is Oricorio, so let's zoom in. We got version 3. Whoa, way too high. Where are you going? It's kind of hard to get while you're moving that fast. Slow, slow down a bit. 
Uh, one more. Alright. Let's see which one was the best shot of those random shots that we got. Uh, That one's probably the best, I would say. Yeah, that one's bigger. Let's go with that one. Let's see all the comments pouring right on in. Alright, pretty good. Composition's good. Beauty is justice. It's a pretty average spot. Oh, whatever. You don't know art when you look at it. It's a decent photo. What kind of camera are you using? I'm using Rotom. Thank you. Alright, 14313. We need 100,000 thumbs ups to get version 4. Like Rotom says, that is a lot. Alright, let's save that one to the, the SD card. Whoops. Because why not? We have it. And next, I'm going to go to Route 8. Because there is a... One of the ace trainers up there. Alright, so she was another one of the ones that said if you beat all the trainers, you can battle me, I believe. And we're still leading with, you know, you know what? I'm gonna switch out to Ikana for this one because we can teach Ikana Psychic and give him the Psychium Z, see what the Psychic type Z move looks like. We didn't even get to see the other guy's Z move. We took out that Slowpoke way too fast. He might have had the Psychium Z, actually. Alright, so first of all. We are going to have to teach Psychic to our Palosand. Temporarily replacing the Shadow Wall. Because we can just teach that right back again, too. And also replacing the Ghost Type Z Crystal for the Psychic Type Z Crystal. Where is my Psychium Z? Did I skip it? I skipped it. Alright. I gotta give the Eviolite back to Igaloo, too. Alright, do that right now before I forget. Where is that Eviolite? There it is. Give to Igaloo. Take back that Buginium Z. I kind of want to use that Spider-Man attack again, though, sometime. But if it happens later, it happens. So where is this Ace Trainer at? I think she's at the far end. Just past the Aether little trailer thing. Here she is. All right, so I'm going to lead Ikana so we can see what the Psychic-type Z-move looks like. Let's go. Level 45. What level is this trainer possibly going to have? I'm going to say probably maybe towards the 30s. High 20s. You beat all the trainers along Route 8? Then it looks like it's finally my time to shine. Now let's get this thing started, shall we? Yes, please. Then here I go. It's time for me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance. Are you going to have a Z-powered form just like Lily does apparently right now? Alright. What do we have? Ace Trainer Eileen's got two Pokemon. Leading off with a Wingull. Now that doesn't resist the uh, psychic type attack, so I'm going to wait and see what the next Pokemon is. Let's go ahead and use a basic, not even towards their level 21. I feel bad doing this, but I kind of want to see what the moves look like, so let's just go with the basic. You're faster? Thanks for the defense boost. That doesn't hurt. Don't confuse me, though. Thank you. Psychic brings you down. I don't think you're taking that one. I should show you the stats for... Uh, Icona here. He has, like, I have him maxed out for both special attack and HP now. So, Firo, sorry, again, like the last Pokemon. Wrong place, wrong time. Let's go with the Shattered Psyche. The user controls the target with a Z power and hurts the target with full force. The power varies. So, 175 special. Ooh! Okay, let's see some Z power from here. It's not going to be the normal type, probably the flying type one. But we got our defense boost up. Supersonic Sky Strike. This looks pretty cool. It did nothing, but it looked pretty cool. So let's see what our psychic type attack does in response. Oh, I like that. What is he doing? Finger up and then hand out. That was pretty cool looking. All right, Shattered Psyche. Let's do it, Icona. Z power versus Z power. <laughs> this looks kind of ominous. What the heck is this? Pinball? Oh, man. All right. That was cool looking. I will say that much. My swelling feelings, they've fallen right to the bottom. Sorry, but a trainer has to do what a trainer has to do. These Z-moves look just insane, but I like them. Well, that's the end of me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance. Thanks for taking part in the show. Take this with you as a souvenir. I don't think anyone can learn it. Dorothy might have been able to. 
I bet you can find other full force trainers like me on the roots of Alola looking for strong for foes, forces I was going to say, to take on in battle. Wouldn't it be fun to take a little detour and search them all out? She knows what I'm doing this episode. She knows the score. All right, so that is it for Route 8. Now, there's somebody else I miss in the water by the Hano Grand Resort. I'm going to head down here. I think I might keep Psychic with the... Oh, you know what? I think I might keep Psychic and Psychium Z on Icona, but... I kind of like giving him back the Ghostium stuff. So let me go ahead and do that. Where is the... Uh... Well, i got to get Shadow Ball first of all. Oh, not Brick Break. I could probably teach Brick Break to Pandora, now that I think about it, because Vital Throw, it makes you always go last. I mean, you never miss with it, though. I guess that's a benefit to it. I'll consider doing that between episodes. So we get Shadow Ball back on Icona. And we now have the Ghostium Z back on Icona as well as I do this. So what have we not seen yet? I've got 10 Z Crystals myself. We've also seen... Well, the flying type one. We've seen dark as... Well, we have dark now. I'm trying to think what Z moves we haven't seen yet. Fairy. Uh, ground we haven't seen yet. Ice. I don't know. We've seen a bunch... Or we haven't seen a bunch of ones just yet. Dragon. I guess we haven't seen that yet either. I can't wait to see what other Z moves we can find. Because, like... Initially, I thought there was going to be a trial for every different Z crystal. And you're the one we haven't battled yet. Alright, let's go. I'll attack you boldly in my bold bikini. Alright, I would do the same, but no one needs to see that. But, what was I about to say? I got completely sidetracked. But anyway, oh yeah, I was going to say, I thought there would have been a trial for every single Z crystal. But as soon as we dealt with uh, the electric type uh, Z, the electric type trial against Sophocles, and then. What's his name? Marlo, I think? He just gave me the Steelium Z, and I thought, oh, so we don't need a trial for every crystal? And then, of course, we just find the Psycheum Z in the desert. We found Beginium Z in Guzma's lair, basically, and it's like, hmm, I wonder why some of them... I wonder what they did to determine which one should be a trial and which one shouldn't. All right, let's go for the Rock Slide. It's not super effective. I know Cloyster is Ice-type, but Shelter is not, but with a defensive Shelter... Crunch might not have been a knockout. And we get a critical with that anyway, so. Good job, Prowl. Let's take care of you. I thought so. The one time we use Rock Slice, you're going to be all dusty. Laura is defeated. Left water down at the waterfront. You like repeating the same word in each of your lines of dialogue, do you not? How'd you get two dusts on you? We only use one Rock Slide, Prowl. You got to calm down a bit there, girl. But you got the job done. Maybe it was a critical hit. Anyway, that is it for... Akala Island, I believe. Now, if I'm missing anything you guys haven't seen me do yet, just leave me a comment below and I'll come back and take care of that. Bikinis and Pokemon battles are totally unrelated. Can't argue that logic. So, over to Ula Ula Island. Now, I left myself a note. There's a Zygarde cell near a Mali tree. Do I mean a berry tree? But it's only in daytime, I think. Let me just... Let me think. Should I check every tree... Well, it wouldn't be down here. Anyway, let's go for route number 12 anyhow. There is somebody that wants to battle me after taking on all of the route 12 trainers. In fact, this was the guy that first talked to me saying that he was a, I think, route kahuna, which doesn't exist. But he wants to talk himself up a little bit, I'm sure. So, let's see what this route kahuna has to offer as we, first of all, do we need to heal? Let's be a little bit risky. Let's not heal just yet. I don't think we took that much damage so far anyway. So down past the police officer, onto route number 12. And we're going to Tauros our way through to find this Root Kahuna. Whatever that might happen to mean. Well, we found a Zygarde cell here. Maybe that's what I had written down. I'll assume so until I see otherwise. Whoops. Let's just run right into the wall. How about that? Now, do we need Mudsdale to get past the first bit of rocks here? No, we don't. This is the man right here. It appears you have completed your training on defeated Route 12's other trainers. And then I, the Kahuna of Route 12, will honor you with a battle. I'll show you the Z power of a Route 12 Kahuna. Let's do it. <laughs> so you think you're ready, do you? This is the devastating Z power of the Great Kahuna of Route 12. Will it be a different type we haven't seen yet? That's what I'm looking forward to. Hey, Collector Andrew, you've got two Pokemon in Premier Balls. Leading with a Ledian. Well, that is super, super weak to rock, and we're leading Prowl, so... 
the choice is pretty much clear what to go for. Let's Rock Slide. Now, are you faster, and can you get a bug move off before? No, you can't. Will we even get to see the Z move from this guy? Now, the last girl, she left it for her second Pokemon. This guy could be doing the same thing. Ledian could be here just to soften us up, because obviously it did that job quite well. And Pinsir, this is going to be the bug type move. Huh. We have the defense to handle this. I'm, well, Prowl doesn't, but the level advantage should help us out. Assuming that it even survives this rock slide. There's your Z power right there, folks. We didn't get to see it, but it probably would have been just the Buginium Z. And yeah, let's brush off that dust. I'm a Kahuna of Route 12, but I guess I didn't do enough auto suggestion. What? Can anyone decipher what that means? Leave that in the comments below. Alright, let's get this dust taken care of. With that, there is somebody on Route 15 for us to deal with, and then somebody in the meadow as well. And I think that pretty much covers things up. Well, there's one more person left on Pony Island, which I thought I dealt with, but anyway, maybe not. What do you have to offer me? Ugh, I have been done in. I yield, you, I yield to you the title of Route 12 Kahuna, and this is well. I'm a Kahuna? Yes, finally! And I get Psych Up. wonder what Z Psych Up does. Probably copies the stats and then double boosts them. That'd be nice. I cannot allow myself to be satisfied with the title of Kahuna in such a small area as this. I think it's time that I start setting my goals on the wider world as well. Good idea, because you're obviously not pulling off much here. So let's go to Route 15. That's 16. Oh, I know where it is. Okay, down here. And just outside the Aether House. Should I go back and check that out? Has anything new happened there? Now that we've dealt with the, uh, the Aether Foundation... Aether Paradise side story? Since I'm in the area, I might as well check it out. But first, let's do what we're here to do and deal with this trainer and get another special item. Wonder what Z Crystal she's going to have to offer against us. And she is right over here. Looks like you didn't waste much time going through all the trainers on Route 15. If you're that good, I guess I'll pull out my Z Power too. Think you can take on my little trial? Yes, please. I like your spirit, kid. I think I'm getting fired up too. Then the full power little trial of this trial guide is about to start. Possibly more Z moves to be seen. Okay, you have two Pokemon, Katrina. And of course, they see that Z ring there. Clef Key. Hmm. Now this is bad because, first of all, it does resist both of our attacks. What is the best one to switch into? I'm thinking... Well, Icona would resist, well, neither, but the defense is good. Would Klefki be more especially offensive, though? I'm thinking Igaloo is the best bet. She will resist the Fairy-type attack, being Steel-type, and if they go for Steel, it'll be neutral, but hopefully the EVL is going to pull through. I didn't even look at the level. Oh, you're going to Spikes, are you? To where we don't have Cordial anymore, she could Rapid Spin those away. It's only level 34, so... The best move we have is Iron Head, but I'm going to put the Hail up, first of all. Two layers of spikes. All right. So, chances are I'm not going to be switching out anyway. We don't have anyone that's going to be immune to the spikes. No flying type, no levitates. But I think Egaloo can probably handle this, although we don't have a Z crystal on her anymore. But we do have now an evasive, evasive? evasion slash evasiveness boost with the hail up. Let's go ahead and swords dance up. This is a special base attack, but we handle it pretty well. Swords dance. So, Iron Head is neutral. Whereas, Leech Life would be double resisted. So, I don't think that's the way to go. Can we dodge the mirror shot? Come on, we have the Eviolite. Not Eviolite, we have the Evasion Boost, but we have three layers of spikes on the field. I wonder. I know regular Sandshrew can learn Rapid Spin. Can Alolan Sandshrew learn it? Now, of course, I've been told already that the. Uh... Yes! Good dodge. Wait! She can dodge now, too. She has a high enough affection in Pokemon Refresh. That was the thing that concerned me back during the Lusumine battle. Alright, let's see. It's going to be the Steel-type attack, but we have good defense. And both attacks are resisted, but the Leech Life is double resisted, so I have to go Iron Head as we take... What is it? The, the Corkscrew something? I can't remember the name of this one. Let's see it. The Corkscrew Crash, right. 
I know we can take this, but it just looks so painful. Come on, you got this. Ow. All right, iron head back. And the hail's gonna help us out a little bit. Oh, no, it's not. So, I'm thinking let's switch. We've got good defense on Ikana as well. Let's do that. But how about that? Igaloo tanked a Z-move. A pretty powerful Z-move from a Skarmory as well. And we can go for... Oh, I forgot the spikes. That's not going to take us out, though. Now, I'm going to shore up. I could use an item. It's a safer way. But what can this thing do? Exactly. It can miss. That's what it can do. Let's get our HP back, thanks. And fortunately... Since Gen 6, Steel-type does not resist Ghost anymore, so we can go for the Shadow Ball. In fact, since this is an episode of Z-Moves, let's see the never-ending nightmare once again. Bring on the Steel Wing. Yeah, nothing. Alright. I like that. It even has that, that creepy sound effect to it, too. I just spoke over it, of course. But, you can do a Z-Move yourself, the Ghost-type. You can see what the sound sounds like. So after we deal with her, there's just somebody in the meadow and somebody on the beach of Pony Island. And I guess that is it for this episode for recapping previous battles. So long, Skarmory. Okay. Almost leveling up off of that, too. Congratulations, you cleared a little trial. So what do we get for this? Another TM, maybe? Because what did the first person give us? A red card, I think it was, back on Melee Melee Island. Nice, you cleared my little trial. You're a real tough trial goer. Here's your reward from me. Take it and carry on with your adventure. That is useful. I am not using them just yet. I want to see what final move sets I'm going to give to my Pokemon, of course. All the trial goers I see out and about on their island challenges have such great smiles. They're as beautiful as the brilliant moon that hangs in the Alola night sky. The work doesn't pay a lick, but I can't give it up when it lets me see these happy faces. So let's just... Like I say, double check here and see if there's anything new going on in the Aether House. Acerola. No matter how strong I am, I know that there are things that I can't do. Places I can't reach and people I can't protect. That's why I want to make all the kids at Aether House into super strong trainers themselves. I want to do the Island Challenge too! Young Goose! Hey, hey, do you know how big the whole world is? The whole entire world is? Is it like infinity big? Not quite. I can go here now. Have I been in here before? Yes, I have. Nothing new in here. You know what? It's been a while. Let's see if there's anything new and interesting on TV. Nope. Malasada commercial. Does anyone know the point of those? Is there anything I should be checking the TVs for? Because, like, I... If so, I can't find it. I don't think I've been in here. Rimpog! Notice how whenever I don't know a Pokemon's voice, I give it the same kind of voice, apparently? This place here is a haven where children and Pokemon can rest and be at peace. But I'm in the middle of cleaning right now, so I'll have to ask you to leave. And it's our friend! Me. Me curse you. Uh... The other Mimikyu, the totem, I think, actually spoke words. Is this a thing that Mimikyu can speak? I've never known that, if that's a thing. The Aether Foundation funds this facility. People and Pokemon can all live here as equals and as family. Can I take a nap, please? No, I can't. Let me get that ladder. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll heal for the Pokemon Center, thanks. We've already dealt with the Aether Foundation before. Although, there still is some sort of confusion. The Aether Foundation, the people outside the VLFS, they seem to be normal people. So, are they, like... I don't even know how to make sense of it. Was it just the leadership of the Aether Foundation that was kind of doing this underhanded stuff with the Ultra Wormhole, and are the regular employees actually still good people, just following orders? Or like, And then there's the whole Team Skull connection. It just doesn't really make sense to me, but I don't know. Because, like, why would Team Skull have been being paid by the Aether Foundation if they were actively... If Team, uh, if team Skull attacked the Aether House? Oh, congratulations to you. You beat all the trainers in the meadow. And I'll tell you why I'm here. I am here waiting for a worthy trainer like you. So what do you say? Will you have a Pokemon battle against me? I will. My special strategy hinges on my use of an item called the Flame Orb. This golfer's on fire! Here comes my full-powered best shot. So that means I'm not going to see a Z-Crystal if you're holding a Flame Orb. Unless you're going to fling it at me. But then again, you can't even have a Z-Crystal if you have a held item, so... Okay, Hariyama. 
gonna be the guts boost, of course. Hmm, can we deal with that? So for the first turn, it's probably going to fake out. I could counter, but it's a fighting type, so what I'm gonna do is switch safely into Icona. You can try fake out, it's gonna do nothing. Your fighting type attack is gonna do nothing. We're a ghost type. Go ahead, fake out. Yep. And the burn right there. So. Hmm. We are 11 levels above. I'm gonna Giga Drain just to heal up a bit. And get some damage off. Now this thing could have knockoff, which actually would hurt quite a bit. Actually, not as much. I realize, okay, because we're holding a Z-Crystal, and that can't be knocked off, just like uh, Mega Evolutions. So, let's Earth Power. And yeah, this thing does concern me. I think the best bet here, I can shore up, and the burn will not take it out exactly, but it's going to get it pretty close. I think if I just shore up twice, we'll be fine. I'm glad my nephew taught Shore Up to Icona. Although, he was saying around the level that Icona did evolve, it would have learned Shore Up anyway, I think. Oh, critical hit! And one more turn of burn is all the Hariyama can take, so let's Shore Up again. We'll take another little bit of a hit from Knock Off in response, but... And just think, is that actually Guts boosted Knock Off? Probably it is, because I can't lose the item. Is that how Knock Off works? Only if the... Would you stop criticals? If the hold item would be knocked off, I guess it does more damage? So I think I've heard that. If you knock off something with a Mega Stone, you don't get the additional damage. Alright, level 46. And the next one in is going to be a... No, an Alakazam. Hmm, this thing could learn Energy Ball. But we don't really have anything to switch into. I could switch into Igaloo, but... I'm going to stay here with a Shadow Ball from Ikana. I'm gonna try you can't trick my Z Crystal. You're trying to get you're trying to hit me with a burn orb, are ya? Or flame orb. Never mind, Alakazam, get out of here. And hey, you broke Wi-Fi battle rules. You can't have the same held item on two Pokemon. Of course it's not a Wi-Fi battle anyway. I guess I'm burned out after all. I would guess so. That was an interesting battle, though. I like how some of these trainers in-game have real good strategies like that. Mm-hmm. Just as I thought. You have what it takes to be the next wielder of my precious flame orb. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I waited here for you so long. Take it, my flame orb. Hmm. Could I make use of that? There, and that's that. I don't know if it's simply a part of getting older, but lately I've been completely hooked on golf. I've been getting a bit burnt out as a trainer and could no longer use that flame orb as I should have. Using it wisely takes a bit of tricky thinking, but if you figure it out, it'll pay you back in spades. What's kind of cool, too, is they give you sort of an idea how you can use that item if you don't already know how to make use of, you know, the different uh, held items and such. So with nothing else to do... We're heading back to Pony Island. The smart thing now would be to heal up, so I think I'm going to do that. And there is a trainer on the beach that I can deal with. And after that, we can then head towards the flag location on the map, because we now have the strength of a Machamp Shove. But again, leave a comment below. Do you want me at some point to check out the past areas? In fact, you know what? Maybe I will check out the strength areas right now that I can access, except for the Tapus. I know there is something in Brooklet, not Brooklet, there's a Lush Jungle in Diglett's Tunnel, and I think, I didn't read the comment yet, but uh, Robert Gosney left a comment letting me know there's another item, or another uh, strength area, which, after he said it, I suddenly realized there is one in Ten Carat Hill, so I'll probably check that out as well, but as I say, there is, I think, one more trainer down here. Lovely, so you defeated all the other trainers around here, have you? It looks like good enough. You got endurance and spirit. My Pokemon have plenty of endurance and spirit, both. Oh, she's singing. I should be singing. They also have a focus sash. What do you say? Will they try taking them on? Okay. What a wonderful response. I can't wait to see just how long you'll be able to stay on your feet against my, my me and my team. I messed up the lyrics. Let's find out which of us has really the most endurance and spirit, shall we? All right. I couldn't sing whatsoever. I'm. It's it's early for me. It's I can't get the singing voice going on, but. Dancer Julia has four Pokemon. Given the fact they have Focus Sash... Well, nope. I was going to say, I might want to switch into Igaloo and get the hail up. No, wait a minute. This is perfect. Stealth Rock. 
If you're not aware how this works, every time a Pokemon comes into battle, they take a little bit of damage based on type effectiveness. So, oh great, now I'm confused, but... A Focus Sash only works if you're at full HP. The moment you come into battle, the Stealth Rock takes a little bit of HP away, therefore Focus Sash is going to have no effect. Now this thing will survive. If we can land, we can. If it does have Focus Sash, it's going to survive this hit. There you see right there. But a Crunch Attack brings it down. But everything else that comes in, the Focus Sash is going to be busted thanks to the rocks. Come on, Prowl, you got this. I think we're due to hit ourselves. No, we're not. We actually still kind of are, but we don't hit ourselves, so we're good there. Down goes Oracorio. Next one comes in. As we gain a level on Prowl, 45. Any new move, perhaps? Wants to learn Rock Climb. Let me just check the stats on this thing. It is a normal type. 90 power, 85 accuracy. It may confuse. Uh, I kind of like what we have now, though. Yeah, we'll say no to Rock Climb for now. Later on, we can, of course, move Tutor back on. Uh, no. Forget this one. Give up learning the move. Okay, good. There we go. I'm still trying to learn how to navigate that stuff. Another Oracorio comes in. Flying type's going to take 25% damage. And no Focus Ash to worry about. Let's just go with the Rock Slide. Prowl's already pretty dusty, I'm sure. We're going to get some more dust on her. We break through once again. Maybe it has been lowered. I've heard that confusion chance to hurt yourself has been lowered from 50% to like about one-third, so 33% or whatever. We're doing pretty good breaking through. Next one comes in is the ghost type one. Nope, psychic type. She has every single one of the Oracorio, but as you can see, Stealth Rock eliminates these focus sashes. Imagine how hard this battle would be if I didn't have the rocks up. These things would be taking two hits each. And the ghost type one comes in next. In fact, I could have crunched that one, too. I'm going to crunch the Ghost-type one. Super effective. And technically, this one is the same typing as our poor injured Dorothy, the Drift Blimp sitting in the PC. So, this is for reminding us of our injured Pokemon. Crunch. Now, she's going to give us Focus Sash, probably. I'm not going to use it in-game, because I'm pretty sure if you use it in a battle in-game, and it gets used up, you lose it. That's Fighting Spirit. So, it's going to be one of those I don't want to hold off on until I use it for, like, Wi-Fi battles and such. Although, you can probably get more of them at the battle tree, I would figure. It's one of those kind of important battle items. But, a free one without losing it in-game is pretty good. I might test it out at some point just to see, does it actually get consumed in a battle in-game? I would think it would. But, anyway, whatever. Let's get this item from this trainer. Oh, how lovely, just lovely. You and your team really do have a great deal of endurance and spirit. But I'll still give you this so that you can reach even higher levels of endurance and spirit. It is Focus Sash. Maybe against a legendary or something, I might bring the Focus Sash to help us. Because it could have helped Cordial against UB01. You use that and become a trainer with most excellent endurance and spirit. So I guess, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly back to... Where is the first place? It is Melee Melee Island, 10 Carat Hill. I'm going to head back here. We're going to do the uh, Machamp Shove. Starting in the next episode, we'll be doing some exploring of the shove areas, except for the Tapus, as I said. In fact, we can't even get to uh, Tapu Coco's area yet. The bridge is still busted, I think. I guess we're on this side of the rocks. All right, so we're going to save it up right here. I'll refresh the Pokemon off screen. As you see, they do want some, uh, some love, care, and attention there. We'll take care of that later, but that is it for today's episode. I want to say, everybody, of course, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down below and leave a comment on whatever I was talking about. I've already lost what I was talking about, but I've got some topics of discussion for the next episode because I figure the shove, the Machamp shove areas are going to be minimal. You know, I'll get through those pretty quickly. And as we do some basic exploration of Pony Island in tomorrow's episode, I'll have some more things to talk about. And just a little, I guess, uh, what would you call it? Preview of what I'm going to talk about. If you guys watched recently, some more information about the Nintendo Switch has been revealed. Now, I'll talk a, bit, talk a little bit about that in the next episode, but 
we are done for today's episode. So if you missed any episodes of Pokemon Moon so far, there's a link in the description, of course, to the entire playlist. You can check that out and get caught up on all the adventures so far. And on the outro of the video, you'll see some links to some other videos that I have done, as well as a link to subscribe if you're not currently subscribed to the channel. We have broken 1,000 as of the end of 2016. Let's see how far we can get in 2017 with subscribers and just interaction on the channel and building a nice community of everybody here on the Professor Chaz channel. But with that, I am now done. Professor Chaz is signing off. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.